lighting's super weird, but it's whatever. But, ugh. But, don't want my boobs out there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Casey here with another video. So, I'm just gonna jump right into it. It is my last semester of college. Let me repeat. It is my last semester in college. I am so happy to graduate. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this day since I got to college. I was just like, look, I don't want to be in here for more than four years. I am out. I am, guys, guys. <laughs> so today, I decided to make a video about planning out my semester and what I do in preparation. Part of this video is gonna be filmed where I'm filming this right now, which is my house in DC. And the other part is gonna be, where other parts, like it's gonna be like scattered in and out. So like location's not gonna st like stay the same. Some things I rather film at school and some things I like might as well film here. Currently filming this intro, it is my winter break and I will be coming going back to school on the 11th, which is a Saturday. And so I'll like film the rest there. Let's just hop right into it. The first thing, which is the most obvious thing that you should do is get a planner, start planning out your semester pretty much. If you have your syllabus or syllabi, if you have your syllabi and your like classes already scheduled and prepared for the school year, Go on to the syllabi and write down all your test dates and project dates and things when assignments are due. Like anything where it's due, write it down in your planner. Tips. It's weird because I see, when I watch these like planning videos, I see a lot of people writing in pen. Like the whole time it's like pen and like, like colored markers and stuff. Okay to do that is the fact that there's things like official dates. Like if your school not if your school, your school has official dates, add and drop dates, that date's not going to change. Spring break dates, like uh, holidays that you have no classes, like those dates don't change. Those are your school's official like calendar. So your school official calendar that you think is important off of it, put that in your planner, write that in pen because those dates are just, they're not going to change. But your assignments and your tests and your projects, if you're going to write those down in your planner, I advise you to write it down in pencil. I say write those dates down in pencil because they're not always guaranteed. I've been in way too many classes where the class just gets off course and then the professor is like, you know what, we'll move this test further back because we haven't gone through blank, blank, and blank subject yet. I would even say write your final exam dates. Like if you have your final exam dates already, I say write that in pencil too because I've also had a couple of classes where they're just like, yeah, we're not gonna have it at this time because that's eight o'clock in the morning. Let's make it 11 o'clock if everyone can do that. And I said, bet. Like I've had classes like that. It was like my photography classes. Another thing to do besides planning out your semester and a planner is to go through your clothes, like go through your closet, take out everything that you do not wear anymore. It frees up so much space. It clears everything out. Like I like having at least a decently nice clean closet or room. I clean out my closet probably every two months though. So I just like, there's just things that I'm like, you know what, I don't need this anymore. I don't wear it, I don't think about it. I don't really think about it until I see it type of thing. Like I just don't think about wearing this ever. So I'm going to donate it or sell it. Um, a lot of schools have like a Facebook page or something like that. Like my school has a Facebook page. I kind of forgot what it's called, but you pretty much sell like your clothes and your books on it and it's like in between all the students. You can get a little extra money on the side of that if you want to sell your clothes. Adding on to that, you should also declutter your room. If there's things that you are just holding on because you just are holding on to them, like they just have no purpose in your room, like it's just not doing anything, throw it out or donate it or sell it something just do the same thing that i just said with the clothes but like everything in your room declutter your electronics like declutter your phone like of apps you don't use anymore of you know how a lot of people have like selfies that are literally the same just have like different angles and it's like taking up a ton of like you're just scrolling through them 
delete the pictures you do not like or duplicates. I don't necessarily have pictures like that of myself just because I don't take selfies like that. I just don't. Oh, I went to the mountains the other day. I went to the Shenandoah Valley. Where did I go? The Shenandoah Nature Park. Whatever, it was in my last videos if you wanna go check that out. But I went there and I just have a ton of pictures, like duplicate pictures of like landscape and the mountains and stuff. And I was like, I don't need all these. Just pick like two or three and move on. Declutter your laptop. So I am a photography major. My laptop, like desktop area gets cluttered so quickly. Y'all don't understand, it gets cluttered so quickly after a project, because I'm just like, I don't need to go into my hard drive right now, like I just need everything right here. And then by the end of the project, I'm just like, wow, I can't see my background. <laughs> I would advise to make folders for separate projects and put them all in a folder for that class. So I'm currently making folders for the different classes that I am having throughout the semester. Being my last semester, I only have three classes that I have to do. <laughs> Make your folders, declutter your desktop, because there's some things from last semester that I still have on here. So get yourself a hard drive um, for the things you want to save and delete the things that you don't want at all. Like, not even on your hard drive. If you just don't want it, throw it in the trash. Like the little trash icon, delete it. The last thing I will tell you to get prepared for your semester is to relax. Whatever you do to relax, do it because it might be a hard semester and you need to be mentally prepared. So a couple of things I do to relax are go on walks with my dog. I love going on walks with her. I'll go for like an hour-ish, like kind of max. I don't want to like tire her out or anything, but I'll go on a walk with her, um, put on some music, listen to whatever you like. <laughs> I ride horses if you don't know, so I like going to the barn. The last thing I do is what I feel like everyone does to relax. I put on a couple candles, get that smell going around in the room, and I sit down and watch Netflix or Hulu like on my laptop or on the TV and that's just what I do. That's just how I relax. Um, I'm trying to get into meditation and yoga. I'm not going too well, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Try new things guys, try new things. So that is it for this video guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a like and press that notification button down below to be notified when my next video comes out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you liked what you see. Uh, go check out my channel and all the other videos I have. But that is it. I am super excited and a little bit honored <laughs> to be graduating this semester. I'm super excited. Y'all do not understand how excited I am. I'm so done with college. I really hope this helped you with planning out your semester. Comment down below anything else you think I missed in this video or different relaxing um, ideas so I can check them out and for other people to check them out. So yeah, that is it and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Thank you.